Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we will be solving one very interesting question from radical algebra. Here we have to evaluate unknown k. So let's get it started. I can write 1 over x equal to. Let us take root 7 common. So root 7 is common in the bracket. It will be root 7 plus 7 plus root 91 plus root 13 over. Let us take 3 common from the denominator. So in the bracket 14 plus root 7 plus root 91. Now I will write first and last term these two all together. So I can write root 7 in the bracket root 13 plus root 7 then we can write root 91 plus 7 over 3 times let us take root 7 common from the denominator also so i will write here 2 root 7 plus 1 plus root 13 now root 7 and root 7 we can cancel. So if I will write 1 over 3 times, let us take 1 common. So in bracket root 13 plus root 7. From last 2, I will take root 7 common. So in bracket root 13 plus root 7 over. I will split 2 root 7 as root 7 plus root 7. So let me write the last term root 13 plus first root 7, second root 7 and 1. Now I can take root 13 plus root 7 common. So 1 over 3 times. I can write root 13 plus root 7. In other bracket root 7 plus 1 over. I will write root 13 plus root 7 plus root 7 plus 1. This is the value of 1 over x. Now I will flip numerator and denominator to find out x. So I can write x equal to 3 times root 13 plus root 7 plus root 7 plus 1 over root 13 plus root 7 in other bracket root 7 plus 1. Now I can split our numerator. I can write 3 is overall common root 13 plus root 7 then our denominators bracket root 13 plus root 7 other bracket root 7 plus 1 plus root 7 plus 1 over root 13 plus root 7 times root 7 plus 1 now we can cancel root 7 plus 1 here and root 13 plus root 7 here. So we can write 3 times 1 over root 7 plus 1 plus 1 over root 13 plus root 7. Now I can rationalize my denominator. So I need to multiply for the first term it will be root 7 minus 1 in the numerator and denominator. Similarly, root 13 minus root 7, I will multiply in the numerator and denominator for the second term. Now, denominator is a plus b times a minus b. So, I can write here, denominator will be 7 minus 1 and 13 minus 7. Let us write. So I can write here 3 times in bracket. 
root 7 minus 1 over 7 minus 1 plus root 13 minus root 7 over 13 minus 7. So denominator will be 6. Let me write here root 13 minus root 7 over 6 plus root 7 minus 1 over 6. Overall common was 3 and this is our x. So now I will take LCM. So 3 denominator will be 6. I need to add all the terms from numerator. Now I can cancel plus and minus root 7. 6 will be cancelled out. It will be 2 now. I will write here the value of x root 13 minus 1 over 2. Now this is the value of x and our target is to evaluate k. So value of k is x power 6 plus 40x. And if I will calculate 40x here, then it will be 40 times x is root 13 minus 1 over 2. So I can cancel 20. It will be multiplier now. 20 times root 13 minus 1. Now I need to only calculate x power 6. Let us calculate. x is root 13 minus 1 over 2. So I can write x power 6 equal to x power 2 times 3. Using exponents property, we can write a power b whole power c. So I can write here, it will be x cube whole square. So let us consider cubing first. So let me write here the value of x cube. It will be root 13 minus 1 over 2 whole cube. Or I can write root 13 minus 1 whole cube over 8. So x cube will be root 13 cube a minus b whole cube we can apply. So it will be 13 root 13 minus 1 minus 3 times root 13 a square times 1 plus 3 times root 13 times 1 square and denominator is 8. So I can write here 13 root 13 minus 1 minus 3 times 13. So 39 plus 3 root 13 over 8. So finally we can write 16 root 13 minus 40 over 8. Or I can write 2 root 13 minus 5. This is the value of x cube. But we have to calculate x power 6. So I will consider squaring now. So x power 6 will be 2 root 13 minus 5 whole square. 2 root 13 minus 5 whole square. So I can write here 52 plus 25 minus 20 root 13 or I can write 77 minus 20 square root 13 and our value was 40x was this was 40 times root 13 minus 1 over 2 which we calculated earlier also it was 20 root 13 minus 20. So we have to add now these two values x power 6 plus 40x. This is our k. Let me write here k is equal to x power 6 plus 40k. 
so x power 6 was 77 minus 20 root 13 and 40k was 20 root 13 minus 20 these two values will get over i will write 77 minus 20 so our final answer will be 57 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe till next video goodbye